In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to control a traffic light. For this tutorial, you need an Arduino, the traffic light, and four jumper wires, male to female. As an alternative, you can also use a breadboard and four male to male jumper wires. The first step is to connect our jumper wires with the PCB of our traffic light. There are four labels over here, the R, the Y, the G and the GND. R is red, Y is yellow, G is green and GND is the ground. I've connected the red wire to the R, the orange wire to the Y, the brown wire to the G and the black wire to the GND. Normally when we use LEDs we have to use a resistor. In this tutorial we don't have to because on the PCB here these tiny squares are already resistors. They look different than we used to have in our previous tutorials. This is because by machinery the tiny resistors can be mounted very easily. Where for us, with our hands, it's really hard to do so. The next step is to connect our traffic light to the Arduino. I've connected the black wire to the ground, marked GND on our Arduino. For the lights, I have the red to the 8, the orange to the 9, and brown to pin 10, where brown is the green light. Make sure you use them in the same order, because it's a lot easier to understand that the pin numbering is the same as going from the lights from top to bottom. Now that our circuit is ready, we can now have a look at the code. Let's have a look at the code. And the code is actually pretty simple, we're not using any external libraries. We're first on line 20, set pin number 8, as an output, and we do the same for 9 and 10. And we also set all the pins to low, so we make sure that all the LEDs are off. Then inside our loop, we control the, our three, three uh, lights, the red, the green, and the orange yellow. So what I do, I write to the red pin high, so it goes on. We wait for five seconds, and then we turn it off. Then we write to pin number 10 for the green light and we wait 5 seconds and then turn it off. And then the same for the orange yellow light. You can now check if this coder runs on your, your Arduino. But today I'm going to do something different. I have 4 steps of optimizing this code. So while you check the, uh, if it runs on your Arduino you can pause this, vi this video. And then we're going step by step optimizing this code and after step 4 I will show you how it looks on my Arduino. When we look at the code it's quite hard to tell which pin belongs to which color of LED. So what we're going to do is optimize this a bit. So in step number 2 I define three constants here on line 18 to line 20. I call them pin red, pin yellow and pin green and define the correct pin number. Now, when we look at line 25 to 27, we say pin red is an output, yellow is an output, green is an output. The same we do on line 30 to 32. Here we have the red to green and we set them all to low. This is a lot easier than here when you see 8, 9, 10 in the old code. Also in our loop, it's a lot more clear what will happen because here it says pin red is high instead of pin 8. So this gives a lot more structure to our code. But we can do more, which I show you in step number three. If we look at the code of step two, we still see here some numbers. So what I did, I define in step number three, some more constants for the delay. So here delay red, delay yellow, delay green, and I defined the 5000 for five seconds and 1000 for one second and also implemented that in the code. As you can see over here, now delay, delay, 
the delay. There is also a function call here, all off, which turns all the LEDs off. This function set is for writing to pin red, yellow, and green, write low to them. Now you can think, okay, this is one line and this is three lines, but we only use it once. That's true. But if you're using the traffic light in your product, there might be a point where you want to turn off all the LEDs. For example, in Germany, when it's green, uh, sorry, red, and you go to green, then first you have the step green and yellow together. Then you can use the all off to turn all the LEDs off instead of having to do it all manually. There is another step we can take, and I want you to look at the code and see if you can figure out what we can do even more. And I'll show you in step four what we can do. So I went one step further, and maybe you thought about this, but I want to remove all the repetitive code. So what I did, I simplified the loop function. Now you see here toggle let with two parameters, pin red and delay red. If we go back to step three, you see a lot of the same here. This is the same as this. This is the same as this on line 44 to 46. The only difference is the pin number and the delay. So if you see this pattern of repetitive code, but just slightly different configuration, what you can do is create a function, and that's what I did. So here is my function. I define two parameters, here let pin and let delay. And I took basically the same code as in step number three. So I took this code. But instead of having the pin red and the delay red, uh, yeah, delay red, I said let pin, which is part of the function parameter, and delay, which is the other function parameter. So now our code is a lot cleaner because you just say toggle LED on pin red with a delay for red and green and yellow. The nice thing is if you show the code to someone else, he or she can immediately understand that toggle LED will toggle a LED. And with the pin and the delay, one can also kind of guess what it does. There's one other step you can do, but I skipped that for now. That is that here you set the pin mode for all the pins to output, you can even simplify that by setting uh, a function of creating a function which sets the pin modes, just like the all off. But that might be a little bit overdone since this is inside the setup, and it's a lot easier to see in the setup what's going on than I, when I put here a function and have to scroll down. So now it's time for me to upload the code to the Arduino, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I've uploaded the code, and as you can see, a traffic light is cycling through the process from red to green, and then to yellow to red. This is exactly the way that we've programmed it, so our sketch is working. Now you know how to control your traffic light. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and if you want to download the course material, you'll find the link in the description of this video. I see you in the next episode.